It's a where your family's always number one, Brisbane's 96.5. Well, whether you're looking at buying or just curious about the real estate market, it's always good to get a couple of handy tips. Joining us this morning from REMAX Territory, Virginia Henry. Virginia, good morning. Good morning, Ilya. Now, today we're going to take a look at creating some good street appeal. Nothing worse than driving past a house with a car body on the front lawn, is there? <laughs> no, that's right. <laughs> or, or a refrigerator or, or a uh, old washing machine. It doesn't look good, does it? No, no, not very appealing. Making that good first impression, what does it involve? Yeah, look, you want to make sure that as soon as people drive up, they think, wow, this is a great house. It's been well cared for. The owners love it. It's a great place to live. So that's the vibe that you want to send out straight away. Now, this involves stuff like, uh, I guess, tidying up. That's probably the most basic thing. Absolutely, yeah. Look, get get rid of as much junk as possible. Like you say, if you do have an old car body or fridge on the front lawn, <laughs> good idea to get rid of it. <laughs> I think you're right. Now, stuff as simple as, um, I guess, emptying the letterbox. Yeah, look, a lot of people probably don't really think about things like that, but don't let junk mail build up in your letterbox or even on the front lawn. If those free newspapers and things like that, if you don't read them, just put them straight in the bin. Get rid of them straight away. You don't want clutter anywhere. So tidy it up as, as much as possible. And talking about the letterbox too, sometimes you can have a bit of a tired, run-down looking letterbox. Rush down to the hardware store, pick up a new one. They're not that expensive and make it look fresh and, again, inviting. Now, I was reading somewhere that uh, maybe painting y- your front door uh, a bold colour. Do you reckon that works? Yeah, look, it's it's all the phrase at the moment. It's, it's great. It looks really, um, stands out. It can look really nice if you paint the outside frames of the doors like a white colour and then go for like a bold orange or blue or red or something and it just gives the home a bit of character and makes it stand out a bit better and it, or even even if you don't go a bold colour, painting your front door, making sure it looks really fresh as soon as people walk in is really important. What's another way to make a good first impression? Yeah, look, often um, people might forget about the roof of your house. If you can see the roof from the road, it's it's a good idea to actually get it really professionally cleaned or painted and tidied up. Same as the gutters and the spaces around the house. If you want to get up and maybe gurney them, the, fu- um, the footpaths, the driveway, things like that, you can be amazed at how what the difference it can make. I guess one of the other tips would be probably uh, putting the bins away. But what about when you sort of come straight into the front door? What else can you sort of do? Yeah, look, this is a place where a lot of dumping ground seems to be, where people just chuck off their shoes, dump your bag, everything that you've had from out in your car, don't leave it there. Get rid of it. You don't want people tripping over things. And again, it's the first impression when people walk in, you want to make the house feel as spacious as possible. So if you've got kids, tell them to take their shoes away straight away. Make it look really wide, inviting, clean and fresh. It's all about creating that good first impression. Joining us this morning with some of those great tips is Virginia Henry from Remax Territory. Virginia, thanks for your time. Have a great weekend, okay? Pleasure. Thanks, Ellie. You too.